Hey guys, it's Skulk3 and welcome to part 27 of Let's Play Colin Bound. In the last part, we escaped from Brock's maniacal factory of doom and misery. Or possibly other stuff, I don't really know. Uh, and in this part, we're going to adventure into this cave. Just as soon as we've had our picture taken by a maniac. Always a good plan. Hello, my name is Wallace. I'm a photographic virtuoso. For years, I've been trying to take the perfect portraits. With your help, I just might be able to snap such a picture. Smile for the camera! Say fuzzy pickles! Oh wait, that's someone else. Sorry. Ugh, you just messed up my photo! Why did you have to pose like such a jerk? I'm sorry, Wallace. It's just how it's programmed into the game. It's, ma it's not my fault, dude. It's not my fault. Oh, here's some dudes. Let's kill them. Okay, so here we have... A computer virus and some kind of mushroom. The wax cap mushroom. Um, right, that's hilarious. Uh, of the two, I'd say these guys look nastier. I get the feeling they're gonna do stuff like. Actually, I might take the initiative here. Oh boy, I didn't realize how costly dejection was. I'm not gonna bother with that then. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Um, I'm gonna use fire as him, and then just bash his- Yeah, it's looking like they're debuffers. Bastards! Fortunately, they're really crap at their job. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh well. It was bound to happen. Um, I'm just gonna say, if the audio quality for today seems a bit lower than usual, then- Oh, they're the wax cup mushroom. Um, then it's because I'm using an older headset. Um, actually less good because my more recent one arbitrarily decided not to work. It was just like, well, <laughs> I don't want to work for you anymore. Uh, so, I don't know, maybe he didn't like my Let's Plays. And can't say I blame him, but um, <laughs> in any case, yes, that's that. So I'm using an old headset and waiting for a new one to be, to be a little bit bad. Waiting for a new one to be delivered in the near future. Um, hopefully tomorrow, but I don't know. Uh, it depends where it's coming from because I can't quite remember. <laughs> I don't think it'll take too long though, so hopefully from tomorrow onwards we'll have better audio quality and it'll all be absolutely handily dandily fandily. Um, bloody hell, guys! <laughs> Stop calling for your friends! We don't need more of you! Right. Maybe now we can take you down. <laughs> ah, nice try, Mushroom, but you can't get more than E or possibly F. I can't quite remember. I'm not sure if there actually is a limit or not. <laughs> Presumably, if there is a limit, it would be 26. Um, but I can't say that for certain. And oh, here's a big flower. What are you? You are an enraged plant. Have we fought one of these guys before? Kind of looks familiar. Um, I'm still going to take out the computer virus first. I'm uh, going to use fireballs. Yum. Computer virus. Don't do that. Because it's just a bit irritating. Okay. I'm not liking how much these guys are hitting for. That was like an 80. And Kerry and Ziri are not that high. And not beyond 80, particularly. Hmm. I don't know. It's a risky business, I'll say that much. And. Well, wax cup mushrooms I'm fine with since they hit for, what, three? Uh. Hey, can I just bash him to death now? I'm very violent people, you know. Something looks different, so we bash the hell out of it until it stops moving. Such is the fate of RPG protagonists everywhere. Fortunately, they enjoy the hell out of it because they're masochists. Not masochists, they're sadists. Masochism would be the other way around. They'd like, try to tempt the enemy into bashing them as much as possible. Which wouldn't exactly make for too funny game. Okay, there's only one of you now. Back in a sec. Okay, I now know for sure that those guys can put you to sleep, which is not a lot of fun. Um, and also, you get 666 experience from them. Uh, beef jerky, you're about 60, right? 150, that's definitely more than 60. Uh, what was it? Chocolate bar was 100, I think. More like 90-ish. It's the closest you've got. And I don't really want to use PP. Entertainment! Okay, we'll just heal Zero up that much. Oh, phone call. Hi, this is Dawn from Save Inc. I think you've been playing Columbound for a long time. It's great to know you're enjoying this hack, but go away. 
No, it's not a cocoon. Fine. You're a grown man, so I won't tell you how to make your way in the world. So piss off already. Oh, dawn. Dawn, 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 dawn. Oh boy. Virus, 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 virus. Well, that was a riot, and fortunately this thing is here. Do I need healing up? I think Colin does. Hmm. I'm not getting that much PB. I should have healed, actually, come to think of it. I didn't realize. I really forgot that that didn't heal me. Okay. That was a minor mistake on my part. Um, let's heal Colin up. And just go with this magic dust of death. Ah! Actually, it's not even slightly of death. It's of... Wonderment and joy! And why didn't I go and heal? Oh god, no! <laughs> oh god, no! <laughs> I can't win! Why is that a back attack? Colin's level is now 31! Offense went up by 2, defense went up by 1, speed went up by 1, 2, pass, 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 level is now 30, head about a bar. Man, this was some pretty lame levels up. Didn't get any new abilities and nothing. Um. Hmm. Oh boy, I am not looking good PP wise. Uh, well, I'll still press on just because I'm still gonna need to fight dudes on the way back and crap like that. Uh, back in a sec. Is it just me or am I running into like an absurdly large number of enemies? Like, more than I'd normally expect to run into. I don't know, it might just be me, but. Seems to me that I'm running into far too many things. Maybe it's just because I have to edit it and it seems like more. You know, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of being poisoned, thank you very much. I find it kind of inconvenient. Um, where's that chocolate? There it is. Put that on Zeria. And everyone should be hunky dory and fighting ready for fresh of death. And here's a present. There's an iron helmet. Ooh, uh, who needs that most? 57, 65, 57. Hmm. Colin already has it, so it might, for convenience sake, just. No, I'll give it to Zeria. Um, since he also does, the, like, the least damage. Um, it might make sense to give him the most defense. I don't know. It's some bizarre kind of logic that works in my own brain. Um, yeah, that's a lot nicer. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, because he won't be hitting very hard, at least he'll be able to sort of withstand attacks. And hey, here's a boss. Uh, how are we looking? I mean, Kerry is really low on... Well, not really low, but relatively low on PP. And oh, I kind of want to just <laughs> go and kill one more enemy to get Zeria leveled up. I'm going to go do that. Um... Yeah, I will see you guys right here in three, two, one. Oh god, that was a trial. I mean, they put everyone to sleep. Like, I was just putting Colin to attack everything and then using fire and then they went, actually, no, we're going to put Colin to sleep so we can't do anything. So I had to use Nitro with Kerry and then they drained more of her PP anyway. So I lost a lot of PP there for Kerry, but... Okay, I would say that fight was worth it. I got a fair bit, fair chunk more hit points for Zeria, and also, I think it was like, what, three more defense? Also, a lot more IQ. Uh, does he have enough IQ yet for the thing? Yes, I believe he does. Uh, I think that's the last one we need. It's 27. Should I know this? Ah, one off, but, you know, we'll get there soon. Anyways. Oh, damn, you FBI bastards finally found me. I knew I should have picked a more remote place to hide. You know, I hate to admit it, but your disguises are pretty good. You guys really don't look like agents at all. And what in the world are you talking about? We aren't FBI agents or anything. Ha <laughs> ha! There's no use in lying to me. If you really weren't FBI agents, you wouldn't be here. Anyway, I'll admit that I programmed that P550 slot virus. But you turds won't take me in without a fight. Okay. And here we have the virus programmer. Oh, don't have viruses with you. Those guys are dicks. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take this chance to use my first charge blaster! Gah! Of the game. So that's a lot of hilarity. And that... That was effective. Um... 
So yeah, I'm glad I'm getting rid of the computer viruses for now. I bet you, though, he'll have an attack where he creates more and I'll just get frustrated. Supersonic dish. No, don't make us confused. Don't make us confused. Don't make us... Oh, thank goodness. What do you mean it didn't work? He's mortal, isn't he? Um, since we're, like, gonna get completely healed after this fight anyways, I might as well just blast him with all I've got! Kaboom! Oh, come on. No, don't you... If you confuse Colin, I'm gonna be... Oh, <laughs> that's what it does. I thought it confused people. I think I've made this mistake before, but that is absolutely hilarious. And oh no, Zeria! You can't use your beloved PP! Why? Um, okay, let's just use ice, and... Do I have... I had a thing... Okay, I'll use a glue launcher. That might do something interesting. Right. Um, well, doesn't really matter, because he's already frozen anyways. Um... Okay, so I think I've got the rest of this fight wrapped up pretty neatly. Um, since he seemed to be pretty damn weak to magical stuff. Uh, and his shield is now gone, so our physical attacks will be a lot better. <coughs> Why? It was just a joke. I was only... I knew I should have just run away. You were just too strong. <coughs> I'm going to... Just die already, you fool! Everything's going round and round. Oh. Ah. Finally! Spyro's programming was vanquished. Jeez, Colin, you're a bit of a dick. <laughs> now, I have to say, though, I do like all of these special boss death texts and what have you. Uh, so, yes, that was absolutely fantastic. Um, and here we have a thing I forget the name of. Ah... So calming. Get some more of the melody that we're collecting for some reason. Black orb glowed with the khaki light of loyalty and honor. Can you spell honor with a U? Because that's the British way. Now I'm confused! Anyway, if we touch the black orb to our forehead and gather our thoughts, we can hear the song we've created so far. And there we have it. Three of eight. We have five more to go for all you maths buffs out there. Uh, so, yes, let's head on our way with our newfound loyalty and honor. And yeah, you're right to cower, you giant bastards. See if I ever treat you to a movie again. Oh, no, don't attack me. Uh, I paid for my hubris. Colin's level is now 32. Offense went up by 2, guts went up by 1, IQ went up by 2, luck went up by 2, maximum HP went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 1, uh huh. This is all stuff, and no new skills or anything, that's a bit lame. Uh, but yes, I'm not being too uh, PP conservative on the way back, because uh, much like with the boss, I'm going to be able to heal when I get back to town, so uh, it doesn't really matter on the way. And also, here's a thing that lets me be happy again. Um, so, yes, uh, I think I'll probably just end this part here, actually. I'm not sure how long it is after all editing and what have you, but, um, I don't think it'll be too ridiculously short. I think the thing is chugging a little because we've got loads of enemies on screen. Okay, I'm going to initiate this fight, but just before I do, I am going to say thank you guys very much for watching this part of Let's Play Colin Bound. Uh, I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.